Hello, 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 everyone. This is Junior here, and welcome back to my strange girlfriend. We're still going for Sabrina, which is the one in black over here. Yeah, let's pop that ID into it. That is the dilling sound. I love it. Find out in the next chapter. Continue on. Episode. A duel? What are you talking about? As the one who has been challenged, you may pick our weapons. Be ready. Oh, God. I don't want to pick any weapons. I don't want to fight you at all. What in the world is this about? I feel no further need to speak to you until sunrise. She turns and walks back down the hall. I want an explanation! Wait! You can't just challenge someone to a duel and walk away with no explanation. She turns on me suddenly and slams my me back against the wall. Yes, I can. If I don't like that, if you don't like that, we can have our duel right here and now. No, that's fine. This time, I don't attempt to stop her. Stop her, nice English. I'm going to turn this down. I want you guys to be able to hear me. There we go. Maybe the other two can help me figure out what's going on. Done already, Junior? I'm hoping I'm not done permanently. Huh? What happened? Sabrina challenged me to a duel at sunrise. Oh, no. Do you have any idea what I could have done to make her mad? She wouldn't explain anything. Well, she probably sees you as a threat to her authority. What? How so? Sabrina sees herself as our leader. But now you're here. Helping us out, changing things around, cleaning up the cottage. I'm a caretaker. I'm just trying to do my job. That's how you see it, but I think she sees it differently. What about Mr. Ivanovich? Oh, they had their share of disagreements about authority, but they were usually able to com compromise. At least Sabrina can be reasoned with then. I want to know. I'm going to ask about detail of their compromises. How did Mr. Ivanovich and Sabrina reach an agreement? Well, it helped that she that he was much older than us. She saw that he had some authority because of that. That won't help me at all, though. He also agreed to defer to her on certain matters. Like what? Security, sleeping agreements, making sure none of us got involved in anything dangerous, that sort of thing. Don't tell me I got her annoyed because I cleared out of the room for you to sleep in. Clear out a clear out a room for you to sleep in. I think it's a lot of little things that they divided up tasks and chores too. I see. I hope you can keep these things in mind and work something out with her, Junior. What if I lose? Maybe she's bluffing. Maybe she's bluffing. About the duel? Yeah, I mean, she wouldn't really duel me, right? Oh, no. I mean, not like a real duel, right? You don't know Sabrina very well yet. Since you've known Sabrina your whole, all your life, what do you think I should do about the weapons? She told me to pick something. What weapon are you best with? None. Oh, then either learn something fast or hope you can avoid the duel entirely. I'm already hoping for that. <laughs> Maybe if I show up unarmed, she realizes we don't have to fight. Hmm, she might take that as an insult. Seriously? If I would be better, it would be better if you appeal to her honor, saying you didn't pick a weapon because you trust in her ability to find a non-violent situation. Solution. Has Sabrina fought with weapons before? 
Maybe I can bluff my way out of this by pretending I'm an expert swordsman or something. Let's see, Sabrina knows how to fight with a sword, dagger, spear, longbow, and crossbow. Oh, and she also knows some martial arts. Never mind. I really think trying to work things out with her is your best bet. Yeah, I see your point. Alright, so I should appeal to her honor. Again, suggest that we divide up the work and let her take charge on certain matters. That sounds like the best way to avoid the duel. And since the duel will probably lead to bodily harm, that's probably the best option. Still, I hate feeling like I just have to give in. What in the world is wrong with that girl? Normal people can get into debates about authority without challenging the other person to a duel. Don't worry, Junior, you've got this. Why do you have so much confidence in me? Because I know you and I know Sabrina, you're, you'll be able to work things out. Maybe I should just go talk with her now. What? But she said sunrise. But if we're not if we're not going to actually duel, trust me, she'll get furious if you don't wait until the proper time. Okay, okay. Hmm, I wonder if Rika has any advice for me. Do you know where Rika is now? I think she's out in the garden. Thanks. There she is. She's humming to herself. It sounds pretty nice, but I don't have time to listen. Hey Rika, mind if I talk to you for a second? Oh, hello, what is it? Serena sort of challenged me to a duel. Oh no. Yeah, Kat thinks she feels like her authority is being threatened. I was wondering if you had any advice. Surrender. What? You should surrender before the duel begins. What would she do? She might throw you out of the cottage. What? Then why would I surrender? Because it's better than having to fight. But... Oh, I hate violence. She abruptly climbs to her feet and steps out of the garden. Wait, Rika? Despite my protest, she sprints for the distant trees and is soon gone from sight. Well, that was not encouraging. Oh, and what in the world have I got myself into? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Is this seriously happening? You came. Yeah. Kat is peeking out from the window. But I don't see Rika anywhere. She probably doesn't want to see the violence. Oh man. I don't see any weapons with you. Have you chose hand to hand combat? Or are you going to insult me by refusing the duel? Appeal to her honor. You're an honorable person, Sabrina. And we're going to have an honorable duel. We don't have to. I trust in your ability to find a non-violent solution to this situation. Hmm. At least she looks a little calmer now. I am in charge here, but ever since you arrived, you have attempted to undermine my authority. I never meant to do that. Our only option is to duel. The loser must leave the cottage and never return. Oh, no. Now, wait a minute. More excuses? I'm just the caretaker. If there are any certain things you want to be in charge of, that's fine. Ah, but only certain things? We can work it out together. We can even divide up tasks and chores. But we don't need to fight about this, and there's no reason for either of us to leave the cottage. I'm not trying to take over. Ha, you remind me of Mr. Ivanovich. Very well, Junior. We'll work this out peacefully. Phew, thank you, Cat. As long as you remember that I'm the leader, Junior, I won't try to duel you or kick you out of the cottage. Thank you. Hm. We'll need to figure out the division of power, of course. Let's discuss it privately. Owie.
Let's discuss it privately. Very well, let's go inside. So, do you need any help or... We're having a private conversation. Okay. She leaves the room. Sabrina sits on the couch, gestures for me to join her. I do so. First, let us discuss matters of security, handling burglars, screening visitors, and so on. Screening visitors? Yes. Whenever someone enters the cottage, I look them over to make sure they have no obvious weapons and don't appear antagonistic. I see. If you have that sort of training, you're free to take on the, that role, once I test your skills, of course. No, I think you've got security covered. Very well. Next, we'll need to discuss tasks around the, the cottage, I'm said the house. I was trying to do my job and fix any problems I caused by arriving. Indeed. How do you suggest we handle this? Since you were hired as a caretaker, I suggest you keep the tasks that involve taking care of the cottage, cleaning, organizing, etc. That kind of makes me sound like a janitor. If you're unsure about something, you can always ask me, fair enough. Sure, if, that's, if that will settle things. It's actually going to end up meaning less work for me, but for some reason that will make her happy. Now, I don't know how you feel about your how, about cooking. I was willing to take on some of the cooking, but if you'd like to do it, hmm, we we could always take turns. This sounds like we're married. We're a married couple figuring out who should do what chores. The sudden thought makes me laugh. What's so funny? I'm going to tell her, because I don't want to lie to her. If someone overheard us, they'd think we're newly weed, newlyweds trying to manage in a house together. And what makes that so funny? Oh, well, the thought of me as a wife is funny, is it? No, no, it's just funny because it would be such a misunderstanding. You have a strange concept of humor. Oh, thank you. Anyways, about those tasks. We continue to work things out, and she eventually gets a notebook and writes things down in. As we work, we unintentionally move closer together. When she sets down the notebook and lifts her head, our faces are inches apart. Now we really look like a couple. She's so close. I could kiss her. Breathe, Junior. Breathe. This is the girl who nearly fought you today. Don't think about kissing her. But it's difficult when she's so close that I can feel her every breath. My heart pounds. Her eyes are beautiful, too, when I stare into them. Then those beautiful eyes narrow. Why are you staring at me? Oh, God. No reason. I edge away to put more space between us. <laughs> is it safe to come in? Yes, we're finished. Oh. Rika enters the cottage and Kat also returns to the living room. So you're both still here and no, no one got hurt? I'm so glad. I'm glad that's over. Not nearly as glad as I am. Now that we've made peace with one another, tell me the truth, Junior. What were you thinking when you came outside this morning? Honestly, what I thought is you might kill me. I thought you I thought you might kill me. <laughs> ha, but it wasn't a duel to the death. Still, you can be pretty scary when you were mad. Ha, I see. So glad that everything is back to normal. Me too. Now we can. She freezes and turns towards the window. Did you hear that? What? I didn't hear anything. I hear it. I hear it. A cat. A car is approaching. I heard it. I said a cat. But no one ever comes here. Could it be a delivery? Or maybe someone is lost and looking for directions? Either way, we need to find out. Even outside, I can't hear anything. 
Do the three of them have super hearing or something? Stay back here. It comes. What does she think? It's an attack? We'll stand together. We all stand together by the cottage. At least even I, even I, even I hear the sound of an engine. Soon the car turns into the view and it's definitely coming our way. A strange car on its way to the cottage. We, who could it be and what do they want? Find out in the next chapter. Episode 6 The car continues to drive closer. Hey, wait a minute. Oh no, why is a stranger coming here? Don't worry, I think it's my... But Rika doesn't wait for me to finish before she bolts for the woods. Rika, come back! I start to follow her, but Sabrina puts out a hand to stop me. She'll be fine, she'll go into the woods until she calms down, and then she'll return. Just give her some time. Alright, if you say so. Then that leaves me to face the other sudden concern, because I can imagine this won't be awkward. The car parks, the driver gets out, it's my mom. I knew it. Hello, Junior. Hi, Mom. So much for my hope that she'd visit when the others weren't around. I thought you ha you would have called home by now, so I decided to pay you a visit. Sorry, I forgot. Your job has kept you that busy? I guess you could say that. Don't worry, I'll remember from now on. Thank you. I just went, want to know how things... I said went. I just want to know how things are going for you and make sure everything is alright. Yeah, I understand. Besides, it must be lonely spending your time here alone. Her gaze goes from me to Sabrina to Cat. Or not. Or not. Ah, um, yes, this is going to get awkward. I don't believe I've ever met these two girls. Are they friends of yours? I'm going to introduce them. Mm. Seems like the right thing to do. All right. Mom, this is Sabrina and this is Cat. Sabrina, Cat, this is my mother. So happy to meet you. You appear to be an admirable person. I'm pleased to meet both of you. She looks around. When I drove up, I could have sworn I saw four people standing at the cottage, not three. Rika got startled when she saw you drive up and she, um... She doesn't do well with strangers, so she went off to be by herself. Yes, that's it. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to cause her distress. Don't worry, she does this sort of thing all the time. I see. I can hear her curiosity and suspicion in her voice. And suspicion in her voice. She drives up to a cottage where her son is supposed to be living by himself and finds him three, there with the three girls. I can't tell her the truth. It was awkward enough when I learned we'd be living together. Mom would be scandalized. I'll have to fall back on Ivanovich's explanation, ex explanation that they live nearby. Should I broach the issue first, or maybe if I don't say anything, she'll be too embarrassed to ask. I'll just act casual, because they do live with me, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to act casual. Well, Mom, did you want to go inside, or... Actually, I'd like to know more about... These young ladies. I know their names, but I still don't really know who they are or why they're here. So much for that. All three of them live nearby, so they sometimes come to visit. Why? Huh? Surely they didn't come just to keep a random caretaker company. Well, the man who owns the cottage is our father. We wanted to make sure Junior was taking good care of the cottage. He's your, he's your father, but you didn't live here with him? We're grown women. Yes, we're independent and we live on our own. However, we normally visit our father on a regular basis, so coming here to check on Junior is no trouble. I see. Thank you, both of you. It looks like Junior is doing a wonderful job so far. 
Of course he is. He is a good person and a hard worker. I'm sure you'll get to see to it that he doesn't slack off or get into any trouble. Certainly. I'm not going to get into trouble. Any, any trouble. Says the guy who narrowly avoided the duel. What was that? She said... She's, she said, says the guy who just got out of school. Oh, I see. Well, since I'm here, may I see the cottage? Oh, God. Sure, let's go inside. What a charming little cottage. Yeah, it really is. It, it's really a nice place. We stand in silence for a few minutes. Well, well, what? Don't I get to see more of the cottage? Of course. Okay, I've got to make sure I don't show her any room. I don't show her any room that makes it obvious that more than one than more than that more than person lives here. Make it obvious that more than person, nice English, lives here. Hmm. The kitchen should be safe, and my room is fine now too, I guess. There's also the storage room in the back. Show her the kitchen. It may be a small cottage, but it actually has a very nice kitchen. Come on. Oh, yes, this is quite lovely. She walks to the refrigerator. Wait, what are you... Good, you have plenty of food. I worry you might not eat right on your own. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you really need so much bacon, though? Uh-oh. It was on sale. And Sabrina will kill me if anything happens to her bacon. Well, as long as you're eating balanced meals, that's what matters. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yes, so that's the kitchen. When we return to the living room where Sabrina and Kat are waiting. What room can I see next? I could show you my room. Cat, no! Your room? <laughs> Sorry, Cat, but your father started... Storing things in the room you used when you were a child. When I was a... Oh, oh, yeah, I should have known. He wouldn't keep it the same once we moved out. <laughs> I see. For a moment, I thought you meant something else. Phew, dodged that one. Can I see another room, then? Actually, I thought you might like some tea. I'd love some. Thank you, dear. I'll make it. We should all sit down and get to know one another better. All right. Thank goodness. Cat heads into the kitchen to make the tea. I'm going to stay in the living room because it's rude to leave my mom alone with someone. Leaving mom alone with Sabrina sounds like a recipe for disaster. As uncomfortable as this is, I better stay right here. Are you the oldest, Sabrina? Hmm? Oh, it's just that you appear to be in charge. Ah, yes, I am the oldest. She also has a natural... She also has a naturally authoritative... Authority... I don't fucking know how to say that. Uh, sorry for my language, by the way. She also has a naturally authoritative personality. I don't know how to say that. So you'll keep Junior in line. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Cat returns from the kitchen trying to carry three cups of tea. She cautiously sets one down at her own place and she then hands one to me and one to my mother. Thank you. Wait, isn't Sabrina having any? She's not much of a tea drinker. I can't stand it. Are you a coffee fan? Coffee is okay. What do you prefer? Meat. Most people don't group tea and coffee and meat together. Sabrina isn't most people. I can see that. So what do you want in your... So what do you do in your free time? I like to crochet. Oh, I love yarn. Really? What types do you use? I discuss yarn. My thoughts drift to Rika. She's still not back yet. I hope she's alright. I wonder if she still needs space or if someone should let her know what's going on. I'll leave her be. It's probably best to give her some space for now. 
Besides, I don't need mom to see me head for the woods and ask questions about why Rico went there. I stay in the cottage with the others and we make small talk that slowly eases the earlier awkwardness. Soon over an hour has passed. Well, I won't keep you from your work any longer. I should get I should be getting home. We head outside together to see her to her car. There's still no sign of Rika. Thank you all for having me and thank you for the tea, cat. It was no trouble at all. Thanks for visiting, Mom. I hope I can come again sometime. Yeah, please call first. Please call first. Oh, right. I wouldn't want to disturb you if you were the middle of something important. Or if it was obvious that the three girls live here. If you do visit again, perhaps we'll have the luck to be here as well. And we can get to know you better. Yes, I'd like that. You all seem very nice. After a few traditional fare, a, a traditional, after a few additional farewells, she gets into her car and drives away. Phew, now maybe things around here can return to normal. By late afternoon, everything feels the way it did before. Kat is working on dinner, Rika's out in the garden, and Sabrina's sitting in the living room. And we got over all the, all that dual business, so there's no reason to be nervous. Come on, pull yourself together. It's just the question. Even she won't get mad over that. What is it? Huh? You've been staring at me for the past five minutes. If you have something to say, just say it. Sorry, I was just wondering if you wanted a more comfortable place to sleep. Eh? Eh? Sleeping on the floor the way you do can't be comfortable. I prefer it. I sleep right in front of the door in order to catch any intruders in the act. Like a wolfie, like a doggy. Oh no. <laughs> Couldn't you catch them from the couch? I wouldn't be as close. What if they broke through the window instead? I never thought of that, but that would be noisier and wake me up. She's going to be stubborn about this, isn't she? Oh, don't look so disheartened. If you're concerned about my comfort, know that I find sleeping in front of the door to be quite comfortable, if you say so. And whether or not it truly increases our security, it makes me feel more secure and confident in my abilities to guard the house. Is someone actually gonna break in one time? Well, all right, but even if you wanted a uh, mattress or something we could probably work something out you're sweet junior but remember who you're dealing with what does she mean by that so don't worry about it anymore if something seems unusual it's probably just a side effect of me not being human a side effect of what sabrina isn't human what does she mean by that are cat and rika not human either and if so what are they find out in the next chapter dang it I'm so close. I could play again. You know what? I'm gonna play three this time. If I can. Aw, oh, really? Cause last time in the first episode, I could have swore I could play three. Unless I played one and thought it was two. Aw, thought I could. Anyways, to quit the game now. Thank you all for watching. That was my strange girlfriend. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more things like games, reaction videos, vlogs, challenges, and PlayStation 4 videos. I have done challenges like the bottle flip challenge with Dylan, which I may continue because my school talked to me about doing bottle flips at work and how it could annoy people. So, yeah. Um, hit the subscribe button. Make sure it is gray, not red, because if it's red, you're missing out. Make sure it is gray like my pants. Yeah.
And how you know you're subscribed is you see a little bell icon. Hit that bell icon. Like, I don't know, because there was nothing that got hit in this video. I, well, actually, hit that bell icon like I got hit with a glove last episode of this game. Yeah. And I will see you dudes and duders in the next video. Au revoir.